You know you need a diary to keep on top of the assignments and homework your teachers love to set. But a homework diary is just an added weight in your bag already crammed with books. And that's when you actually remember to bring it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a digital homework diary that lives on your phone, because let's be honest, you're never going to forget that. I'm Amy Elliott, a chemistry teacher in New Zealand, helping you pass NCA without memorising thousands of facts. Every week I release a new video that shows you how to improve your study, gives you exam strategies, or helps you understand NCEA chemistry. If you find these videos helpful, please hit that subscribe button as it helps me make more videos while YouTube pays for you to learn for if free. If you use a homework diary, you know that the downside is you write an assignment down on the day it's due, then you forget about it until you turn the page in your diary and realise it's due tomorrow. Trello helps you easily manage your to-do list by showing you everything you have coming up on one screen. It also has an app so you can download it and use it on your phone. To sign up for Trello, head to trello.com and then enter your email address and that will set you up with a free account. If you want to use this Trello board for your homework diary, I have included a link to it in the description below, so you can click on that and it will bring this board up. Click on Show Menu on the right hand side and then go down to More and click on Make a Copy of this board. Name the board and then you're ready to edit it. Along the top you have your to-do lists. You can change these to say whatever you want by just clicking on the top and adding any title. You can also add more to-do lists just by clicking on add another and then typing in whatever title you want. You can then move this card around so it fits wherever makes sense for you. If you don't want one of these lists, you can click on the dots and then go down to archive list and that will get rid of it. If you want to add a cool background, you can go to Show Menu and then down to Change Background and then you can choose either a picture or just a colour to have at the back. To organise your homework diary, you can add labels by going to More and then Labels in the menu. For each colour, you can then assign a subject and you can choose whichever colours you like. You are now ready to start adding your homework to your diary. So you click on add a card and then for the title you put whatever the homework, the internal the, or the assignment is and then in the description you can add a little bit more detail about what needs to be in the assignment or any hints and tips your teacher has given you. You can then use the labels to clearly show which subject it's for. You can also add a due date so that you can easily see on your main homepage when each assignment is due. If you want to include even more details, you can add a checklist. So you just give the checklist a title like to do and then you include each step that you will need to do to finish that internal or assignment. As you do each step, you can tick it off so you know how close you are to finishing that assignment. You can add as many cards as you need so all of your assignments and homework are all included in that one place. To keep on track of everything, you can move each card around. So, for example, if the chemistry workbook was due this week, you'll just drag it into that list and then you know that you need to work on it at some point before the 9th of Feb. Likewise, you could move the physics one into June next week and then once you've done it and it's finished, you can move it into the done pile. At the start of April, you could then move your internal to due this month so that you know that now becomes a priority. If you would rather not have a done to-do list 
and you would rather just delete the cards when it's finished, you can just click on them and go archive, or you can click on the done list and archive that as well, and that will just get rid of it. If you decide to give this digital homework diary a go, let me know in the comments below how you found it. And likewise, if there's something you're not sure about, you can ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you want to know how you can also use Trello to plan your study, then watch the next video I have lined up for you.